Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have hooked up the new inverter board, which is working. We've got that little IC Ugh. down there. All right, I'm not going to touch it. MOSFETs and everything like that, that's all working nicely. Gate drive transformer, you can probably hear it singing quite loudly. Um, I've got a, this, unfortunately, this bad boy here has died, so yeah, um, I'm just cooking it, so you can see what's going on anyway. The um, that's a signal on one of the gates. I know it's not ideal, but I think I can improve that at some point in time. Uh, yeah, I was I thought maybe I blew the rectifier or blew the. Um, IGBT, but the um, it doesn't seem to be because if the diode had gone, if the IGBT had failed short, that wouldn't work. That's me just varying the uh, variac on the DC supply. I check the diodes; they're all fine. But this thing, this is going to get fun. Ah, that's about to catch fire, actually. Um, but yeah, temperatures on this device. Not even hot. Again, that's stone cold. And the MOSFETs, stone cold. Our supply. So, yeah, that's going to reach critical very shortly. I tried added some gaps in the core to store some flux just to see if that would help, but obviously not. So, uh, yeah. Mm. Interesting stuff. And that, yeah, literally that lamp there is just for a visual indication of what's going on across the coil across the coil of the um, transformer so I'm driving it between those two and the 15,000 is just sitting there it does still do something but it's, it's not very obvious so I think I think what's happened is it's overheated shorted and now we've got basically a shorted turn on the um, secondary so yeah just uh, really this is more more for just showing you this thing's working uh, the frequency and duty cycle trimmers both work I'm happy to announce and uh, yeah so that's been cool that is, that's, that's literally probably about 80 degrees C right now the core material not a yeah, stone cold uh, so yeah, alright, catch you later.